I'm Chris Nelson and I've been diagnosed for many years now with a frontal lobe or a variance of frontal lobe dementia. I find shopping in stores like Walmart, Superstore, Safeway, basically any store, really hard. Number one, because there's too many choices and they can't change that. It's too overwhelming for me. I walked into a store recently. My husband was with me, but he was somewhere else and I was asking where something was. And over there, they point to the back of the store, aisle, whatever. Well, by the time I figure out where aisle 35 is and I get to the back of the store and I go down and up, I can't even think anymore. So I go back and I said, uh, I didn't, don't think it's there. Can you show me? And the lady was really upset with me and mad that she had to take me back and show me. And it was there, but, but by this point, I can't think correct and I didn't even see it. So I guess if the stores were a little more accommodating with everyone, not just people with health problems. Same, the hard thing for me in the lineup, again, it's sometimes I could count my change and it seems to be the change and you feel dumb because you might only have 75 cents. You can't count that. When I know I've counted it all my life, I know how to count. But they get very frustrated and very impatient. So the big thing I see in, in all of it, the, the stores, the restaurants, um, people in general, to learn some patience. We all can't do things fast. And I've had to learn uh, in my group, I co-facilitate a group at the Alzheimer's Society. And one of the things that I'm trying to get other people is to accept their illness and to be able to say to people, I need help, or can you help me count my change? I have dementia. And most people, if we can do that, will do that, but you wouldn't believe how hard it is to swallow your pride. Pride is a good thing, but pride can really get in the way. There's so many people when they first get diagnosed in our groups that don't even want to tell their friends.